This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and so if you want to indirectly support the channel while also buying or selling cards for your own matches, your own tournaments, your own duels, your own purposes, your own needs, then definitely check out their site and see what they have to offer you. I'm a big fan of how they do business, and their pricing and shipping from what I've seen and experienced thus far are both top notch. So definitely check out their site, which is linked in the description, and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm going to be playing with the Perform Pal Zodiac deck for the post, uh, like the post June uh, 12th format. I opened both Rat Piers, and they're next to each other. That's kind of irritating. Uh, okay, he's playing uh, Supreme King Gate cards. Okay, well I'm going second against this field uh, that he could potentially put out. I wonder if he's playing that, that fucking God card deck. There was this deck in the OCG, right, a couple weeks ago that was playing these Supreme Gate cards because of the fact that they go up to Pendulum Scale 13. It was the biggest gimmick in the world, but it like won a Locals or two or something. And it was Pendulum Summoning God cards, right? <laughs> and if that's what he's playing, that's going to be the most hilarious thing in the world. Uh, because like, this deck is super easy to deal with in the form of like, you just make Whiptail and Banish Obelisk. <laughs> like, it's super simple. Uh, okay. I need to see what he's adding. He just added Gate Infinity, he Pendulum Summoned the Illusion Magician, added Dark Magician. Okay, so he might be playing a more Magician-focused engine, or no, he might be playing those in that deck. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to, like, judge what's going on here, but at the same time, I really can't. But I'm going to be taking this hard minus one, uh, summoning the rat from my hand. That's going to be a bit irritating. Uh, but I do have access to the Pendulum Rising play. I've got the Lizard Draw ready in hand, which means I can make Ignister, pop his scales, and do things like that. Let's see. Uh, if you control a monster, you cannot Pendulum Summon. If you control Spring King Zark, gain life points equal to its attack. Yeah, that doesn't do anything here. Does this thing do anything? Um, let's see. You can special summon this card if you control the monsters. If it's in the graveyard, you control monsters. Uh, all right, and I know he searched this one, so I want to. Yeah, he searched Infinity, so I definitely want to spin the other scale uh, if that's what's going on. But so I'm going to use this here to send Le Ram Ram, uh, because at least I can get a plus off of that, and then we'll just go to town. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to be dealing with any back row or hand traps or anything like that, and if I am, then good on him. Um, but I know that two cards in his hand are not anything that's going to stop me, uh, so basically it's if that one last card is something, but this deck operates on a cool gimmick. I have to give him some, uh, some points for doing that. I really enjoy gimmicky decks. That's something that has always been the case. In the, uh, in the Phoenix Flare X situation. Uh, but so, okay. I'm going to use this uh, to search for Whiptail, uh, just so I can have that. Uh, I can banish this, so I'm not too worried. I can pop one scale to spin the other. Um, and then, uh, let's see, this does something um, when it's destroyed, right? No? Okay, it's three effects, or it special summons itself, searches Dark Magician, and then it's an Honest for like, or a Kalut for like Dark Magician cards. That's what I need to remember. Uh, but so we'll just go into the regular play now since I've already normal summoned rap here uh, I'm going to not be able to normal summon skull Corbat Joker, which is a three of in this list This is the post June list but uh, But it's um, it doesn't include the magician cards from the deck list that I put up before because I just in testing I may have already said this. I don't know. I've tried to film this video like three times while Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro's USA servers were shitting themselves uh -huh. uh, But we ended up having to restart on the EU server uh, that uh, the situation that I was having with the Magician cards is that they were like the worst cards in my deck. <laughs> so I just decided not. I decided to just not. Uh, but So we'll send this rat because I'm going to summon this because I can't normal summon Skullcrabat Joker. Um, so I'm not going to use this to pop itself. I'm going to use it to pop Ram Ram and this scale. And that way I'm going to be able to get uh, my way into a Geturtle and a Dag Dagger Man, because I'm going to be able to use Dag Dagger Man to add back the Pendulum Sorcerer after I overlay with it. Uh, but the Ram Ram will get its effect here to bring back a Rap here, and that's going to be good for me. Uh, and then I'll be able to make King of the Feralimps and search for uh, for a Mask Chameleon so that I can get an Ignister play going, and then that'll just be really good for me. And so that's what we're going to work with. Uh, but so I'm going to attach this, and I'm going to search Mask Chameleon, because I've already got a Turtle Lizard Draw. Uh, I wanted that out of my deck before I searched, uh, or before I drew. I wanted it out of my deck before I drew. I wanted to search before I draw, uh, because I didn't want to draw it. Because then all I'm making is, like, Tornado Dragon, and that's not really that optimal. Uh, but so, 
We're just going to overpower his deck's gimmick with uh, with some nonsense of our own. That's Odd Eyes Fusion. That's actually really good for a follow-up. This is a card I put in my deck in, in place of some of the Magician cards, um, as you may be able to tell. But, so I'm going to use this Dag Dagger Man. I'm going to activate its effect to add back the Pendulum Sorcerer that's engraved. So now I'm going to be able to Pendulum for three, the Mask Chameleon, the Pendulum Sorcerer, and the thing. I could Pendulum Summon the Thoroughblade as well. Uh, that would be actually pretty cool. Um, as I could Pendulum Thoroughblade, uh, this, and, yeah, and then Thoroughblade could rotate Whiptail out. But no, I want to use what I can make Tiger Mortar. Aha! This is what we'll do, yeah. We'll just we'll dig for more cards. Uh, so I'll summon this from hand. Actually, I don't even want to summon it from hand. I'll just keep it in hand for later. Um, I'll summon Thoroughblade, I'll summon this, and then I'll summon the Mass Chameleon. So I'll do that. In that order. Uh, Thoroughblade will be able to rotate the Whiptail out. I'll be able to re-equip the Whiptail uh, afterwards. And I can make Hammer Kong as well. Is something really cool that I could be able to do. Uh, that's an Ash Blossom. That's really good. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. So we'll make Ignister here. I can spin his scale uh, and destroy his scale. So that's fine. Uh, I'm going to activate its effect to target one and destroy one. I'm going to summon the Luster out of my deck just so that I can threaten uh, with it. But there's not really going to be much that it's doing there. Uh, but I can activate this effect. And I'm going to destroy this and spin this. Because I want there to be more copies of this in his deck. Uh, because he's got one in his hand already. So if he draws multiples, it doesn't really do anything for him. Uh, but now I can make Tiger Mortar. Uh, which can put the uh, whip tail back underneath. And then I can do stuff like that. Uh, in fact, I'm super, super dumb. Right? What I should have done was I should have put like Hammer Kong over this. And then use Tiger Mortar to put on that under that, and that, would, that way this would be bigger. Like, that's that was the way this needed to go. But it's okay. Uh, it's okay, my darling. I'll just, uh, I'll make Dryden in attack mode and we'll just be fine. Because I can attack this, I can attack other things, I can do a bunch of damage, but otherwise we're just not going to be doing a lot. Um, I'm not going to be, I can put Hammer Kong over this, but it's just going to, like, detach some material in the end phase. So I might as well just leave that there. Yeah. I was supposed to like make Hammer Kong and then Tiger Mortar the Whip Tail underneath the Hammer Kong. That way, it have Thoroughblade and it uh, under. But so this is this is still fine. Um, this is still something that's fine for me to deal with because I know what two cards in his hand are. So uh, he's got a Scale, he's got a Dark Magician, and so I'm not too threatened by that. Uh, out of just um, like the perspective that I can see in the game currently, I'm not too threatened by it. And I'm able to just push for damage and try to push down the gimmick. I do really enjoy the fact that he's playing this gimmicky deck. I love this. Um, because I, just, I would love for him to just Pendulum Summon one of the God cards. <laughs> that would be, like, the treat. Uh, because that's that's the way this deck operates. Um, I'm going to set this just in case he plays, like, clutch-ass MSTs. If he plays Twin Twister, I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm completely fine with losing that Eyes Fusion. I just don't want to get hit by, like, a blind space on the strike. Which that strike is going to be very, very, you know, good for me as my gameplay plan goes. Uh, but so the Ignister clearing his board, that and that, I messed up a bit in terms of not having the foresight to do anything else. Yeah, see, so now his deck just doesn't, um, doesn't like do anything else because he's got a mismatch of cards. And that's the problem with playing these gimmicky decks. Uh, but so I can pendulum a lot, I can do things, um... I can clear this with Barrage, summon another Whiptail, make a Broad Bull, um, search another um, search another card. Uh, there's a lot of things that can happen here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll do this, uh, popping the Luster. That way I can summon this Whiptail out of deck. I can make a big-ass Broad Bull and make a second Dryden. Um, or I can just... Probably not. It has to be three or more. That's terrible. Um, so I just got, I guess I'm just making Emerald here. <laughs> that seems seems like that's the way this is going. Uh, I had other options, but turns out I'm not going to be able to do them because of the fact that Hammer Kong requires three or more, uh, and not the uh, the two that I originally had expected. So Broad Bull, put back Broad Bull. We'll put back the Shock and Nine, and we'll put back one of the Whip Tails. Maybe, yeah, we'll put back this Whip Tail. That way I can search it if I draw a Tanky, or I can just make Broad Bull. Um, and then stack up on this uh, Dryden. Oh, well, I can just draw it too. That's another option. 
I guess. Uh, so I can just Pendulum Summon this one dude from hand, which will then let me pop the Barrage and the Dag Daggerman, and then I'll be able to just go from there. Uh, because this will allow me to search Skull Crobat's Joker, and I'll search one of these uh, one of these scales from Sky Iris, because I've got the King of the Fair Limps that I can search for the Lizard Draw with. I'm just gonna draw a few more cards. Um, I'm just trying to extend my deck's reach a bit. I mean, he could be playing something like Swift Scarecrow or whatever, and I could be doing this main phase too. Uh, but even then, Swift Scarecrow wouldn't matter because I could just pop whatever I'm attacking with Dryden, so it actually just doesn't matter. I just want to see more cards. Um, that's that's the thing is that I always like to play my turns out to completion. Uh, even if that, even if I do have game on board, uh, because I am still advancing the game state, uh, so there is that. But so we'll activate this, put it under this, and uh, then we'll attack with everything we got, and that'll just be game. So it's unfortunate that he just absolutely got shat on by like Ignister and things like that, because he's playing a really cool deck. I've got to, I've got to respect him for that. Like he's playing a gimmicky thing. He's playing something that he wanted to try and play, and I said, sure, play whatever you want to play, uh, but. That, this deck has a really cool gimmick. I don't know if he's playing the god cards in this build, but like I said, there was a build in Japan <laughs> that like topped locals, like local tournaments in Japan for like two weeks straight that was playing these gate cards and it was pendulum summoning god cards. <laughs> and it was, it was the coolest thing to look at on paper. And he had a lot of fun playing it a couple weeks back, probably even over a month at this point actually, now that I think about it, because it was like pre-Maximum Crisis releasing to the TCG. So yeah, well over a month ago actually, my time frame and my span of time is definitely not what it used to be but anyway that's gonna be it for this video I'm going to be going and filming some more gameplay videos with some different decks uh, so I can get them ready for uploading while I'm having my very busy week schedule so look out for those if you're interested but other than that as always guys thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below as always links are in the description to my Facebook and patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly the patreon is the best way to do so and it also helps some future projects that I have in the works come into fruition a bit sooner those things involve like getting a new computer to live stream on a regular basis to play with you guys doing all this sort of other stuff and as well as if you're interested one of the reward tiers gets you access into my private discord server which is where dance king came from which is where everyone that i chat with and play games with for videos comes from so if you want to play games for videos with me then patreon is the best bet for you to be able to do that and also you get access to a patreon to a discord full of just some really really cool dudes like me and 15 other people that just chat and shoot the shit on a daily basis so if you're interested definitely check that out but anyway if you like this video smash that like button thumbs up this video to show you support for what i'm doing and show that you like the content other than that if you're new here consider subscribing i'd love to welcome you to the community based around this channel that i didn't think a thing like this was possible a couple years ago but people like you make this possible so if you want it to continue and you want to help me and also want to see some more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh content then definitely subscribe if you already haven't but other than that that is it for this video as I've already said thanks for watching thanks for your time as usual and take care guys I will see you in the next video